Orenthal James Simpson, known to the world as O.J. Simpson, was a man whose life was as controversial as it was illustrious. A star on the football field, a charismatic figure in Hollywood, he later became the central figure in a notorious murder trial that captivated the world. Born on July 9, 1947, in San Francisco, Simpson's ascent to fame began with his remarkable football career. He was a premier running back at the University of Southern California, before being drafted as the first overall pick by the Buffalo Bills in 1969. His prowess on the field was undeniable, and he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in the year 1985. However, Simpson's fame wasn't confined to the football field. He transitioned into a successful acting career, appearing in movies like The Towering Inferno and the comedy series The Naked Gun. He was a familiar and well-liked figure in American popular culture. But the year 1994 marked a dramatic and dark turn in Simpson's life. His ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ronald Goldman were brutally murdered. Simpson quickly became the prime suspect. What followed was a low-speed car chase across Los Angeles broadcast live as Simpson attempted to evade police in a white Ford Bronco. This event marked a new era of celebrity, crime, and media spectacle. The subsequent murder trial was one of the most watched events of the 20th century. It was a spectacle that introduced the world to a cast of characters, including Judge Lance Ito, attorneys Johnny Cochran and Robert Kardashian, and Simpson's house guest, Cato Kalin. The trial's climax came when Simpson struggled to put on a glove that the prosecution alleged he used during the murders. Cochran famously told the jury, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. The trial was not just about the murder charges, but also about the state of race relations in the United States. It took place against the backdrop of violent racial turmoil in Los Angeles, following the acquittal of several white police officers for the severe beating of Rodney King, a black motorist. In October of 1995, after a trial that lasted 11 months, Simpson was acquitted of the murders. However, in a civil suit brought by the victims, Families three years later, he was found liable and ordered to pay $33.5 million. In 2008, Simpson was sent to prison for 15 years for a botched robbery in Las Vegas, where he attempted to forcibly recover sports memorabilia he insisted had been stolen from him. Simpson's life came to an end on April 10, 2024, after a battle with cancer. His death marked the end of a life that was as captivating as it was controversial. His legacy, however, lives on. It's a tale of fame, fall from grace, and the complex intersection of race, celebrity, and justice in America.